Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to the newest Let's Play on my channel, which is going to be Project Gotham Racing 4, as people have been asking me to play this for a while, even though those people might not be around still um, because of the whole channel change thing. But we are finally playing through PGR 4, because I've done PGR 1 through 3, and I'll probably leave links to the playlist for those in the description below uh, if you'd like to watch any of them. But to start off, you can select your 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 thingy, sure. And of course, I'm from the United States. Oh man, customization. Purple, yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't choose any other colors. Oh well, I really don't care about uh. Ooh, I like that one. Helmet colors, I don't really care. Visor type. Ooh. Fancy. Alright, let's continue. Oh, you can change the suit type as well. Oops. Um, there's a lot of things you can do in that, but I really don't care about doing it at the moment. Um, but yeah, we are going to be playing through PGR4 because why not? I love this game. This is my second favorite PGR game behind PGR2. Um, and we have here in the single player mode, of course. Arcade mode, which I'll probably do at a later date sometime. The Gotham Career, which is what we're going to do. The World Challenge mode, which I think is DLC. Uh, arcade events, if I remember right. Um, time Attack and Custom Match, which are just kind of doing whatever you like. And let's go ahead and start with the Career. And there's no actual, like, words in this, so I'm just going to talk through it. Um, so yeah, PGR4. Came out in 2007, I think. Maybe 2006. Can't remember. Um, still holds up very well to this day because of the way the career works. I really like. Oh, hey. So we get to pick our difficulty. We have easy, normal, and hardcore. I'm just going to go with normal because why not? And here is our main career menu where you can go to the day's events, which is, you know, just going out to race. Uh, my garages, which is pretty cool. If you're in PGR3, you have different garages to put your cars in and look at them, which I will go ahead and show off right now. As you can see, you can walk around. You can look at some cars that you apparently have. I have a motorcycle, a Caterham, Audi RS4. Yep, that's a thing. And a Bentley Continental GT, apparently. And you can change vehicles and do whatever you need. I love the Firebird. I love the fact that it's in this game. An early Firebird. It's strange they didn't put like a 90-92 in there. Oh well. Um, yeah, you can do all that. And photo mode and so on and so forth. There's a Geometry Wars game in here somewhere. Um, back there that you can play. But it like closes out the game. So I'm not going to do that. Go back to the main menu real quick. Gives you little tips of course on the screen. On loading as all the games from this era do. Um, driver standings, which is points, which you get points for completing championships, and so on and so forth. We'll talk more about that once we actually get some, and you can change your difficulty again. So to start off, we will go ahead and go to today's events, which is going to be an F-Class event at somewhere. I can't remember what that is. Um, but we have a couple street races and a breakthrough, which I think I remember what a breakthrough is, but I'm not going to say anything about it yet because I don't remember exactly. Um, I think you just go through gates and that's about it. So we have a list of cars here to pick from. We have a Ford Sierra Cosworth. Pretty neat card, having a game. Uh, Lancia Delta. I mean, you know, Microsoft. Forza. You know. <laughs> um, Buell. Motorcycle. If you want to drive a motorcycle. And a 69 Camaro Z28, not RS package, which is kind of interesting. Um, I think we're going with the Sierra Ca... Oh, that is, that is how you do this. Okay, so this is like, you create your own livery for the cars. Uh, I usually don't do that, because I like to have the factory colors. I actually tried to change the color. Not sure I was going to get out of pressing X. Um, but you have three colors to pick from, and you can pick your special one, or... Yeah. So, I'm going to pick the this kind of steel blue color. You view details on the car. See what year it is, see how hard it is to drive, so on and so forth. 
And you have your stats down there for the car, which, you know, pretty simple. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we are here. I still don't know where we are exactly. Uh, I'm racing as a Jaguar D-Type, Lamborghini Mira, a Jaguar D-Type, another Jaguar D-Type, and of course there's me. Um, so that's interesting that all these cars are in the same class. I wouldn't expect a Ford CR Cosworth to be in the same, like, class as a, uh... Okay, how do I shift up? There we go. Oh, it's probably an automatic, isn't it? Uh, I gotta change my options. Yep, automatic, heads-up display, review mirror, race information, map... Eh, I'll do zoom. Okay. And we do have, of course, in the pause menu, you have your continue, restart, photo mode, which is one of the earliest games I remember to have a photo mode, which is pretty cool. Well, I think PGR3 had one. Uh, options, your sound, and abandoned event, which actually sound. Because I don't want to get copyright strikes. Let's go ahead and... Did I actually turn that off? Hold on. No. You have to press A, not B. There we go. Alright, so this game has a strange-ish, uh, oh god, control setup for shifting up and down. It's X and Y, instead of like B and X or A and X. So it's really going to throw me off a lot, because the only games I've played recently, and by recently I mean a month and a half ago was the last time I probably played another game. Um, actually probably not that long. But the last games I played were like Ford Racing 3 and Dirt 4, which had opposites. Uh, I'm doing horribly, by the way. Uh, I had opposites in the, uh, shifting controls. One of them is shift up as A and shift down as X, and the other one is backwards from that. So, I may be thrown off a little bit here. And, of course, being a PGR game, you do get kudos for doing things, ranging from sliding to getting clean laps to getting clean sections. Or as I used to think it was a kid, or as I was a kid, I used to think that it said clean selection instead of section. Um, so yeah. This is just a normal street race, I just gotta come in first, which, eh, eat my butt. Okay, <laughs> I won, barely. I may have been dirty, but I won. And yeah, I got first, get your kudos. Shows you your, your kudos breakdown. Hey, Mad Cats, I used to have a wheel that was made by them. And here's where we stand for kudos, which is how you're actually decided on if you're winning or not in the uh, championship is by kudos. That's how it's er, it's sorted by most amount of kudos to least. And of course you get less whenever you get in worse positions and whatnot. And you watch a replay, save and return to menu, or go to the next stage, which we shall do. Alright, so here we are in our second race. Same... Starting grid as last time, not surprised. Rev my car up to go. Oh yeah, another fun thing about this game is that it has uh, all kinds of interior or in bleh, views. In the interior view, you don't have a tachometer, it takes it away. So you have to look at the one in the car, which kind of sucks for me because it's almost impossible to see on some of these cars because it's so dark on the inside. Um, and they're not, inc I mean, they're, they're detailed, but like, Sadly, like, a lot, oh, the only gauges that usually work are the tachometer and the speedometer. Like, even, uh, oh god. Edmund! Come back! But usually, like, boost gauges don't work and crap like that, so... At least something works, I guess. Edmund! I, you can't, that's not how you look back, apparently. I'm not sure how to look back. Hey, there it is. It's clicking the, uh, right thumbstick, aka R3, if you're on a PlayStation. I don't think that's called anything specific on the Xbox controller. I'm glad to be playing this game again, honestly. It's a game that I'm actually probably going to end up coming back to a lot and finishing at a decent rate. Because I really, really enjoy playing it. It's so much different from just about everything else. Well, the whole PGR series, honestly. It's like, you know, arcade racing, but it's also track racing, but it's also on streets that are shut down to make tracks. And it's just pretty cool. If I have to do if I have to say so myself.
There's a reason that this is one of the games that I've gotten like I think this is one of the highest gamer score games I've ever had on Xbox. You know, behind like Need for Speed Most Wanted 05 because you get all of the achievements in the game just by playing through it. And there's one or two other games, like Forza 4, that I think I have more gamer score. I had like 820 or something in this game. And I was always impressed that I was able to do that. It has a lot of fun achievements too, like just kind of like secret achievements, like you have to one achievement you have to go 88 miles per hour on a DeLorean and then have lightning strike because there's dynamic weather in this game which is another really cool thing about this game which I think we'll see in the next race, the the last race in this little series I'm pretty sure it starts raining like halfway through um, but yeah it has dynamic weather in 2007 that's pretty impressive got some kudos, is it gonna go to the replay cameras ever? I guess not oh I, oops Oh, hey, there it goes. Alright, so obviously still winning. I'm winning. We got a decent amount of kudos. Like, you can still win, even if you get second, if you just get a shitload of kudos. And I, I like that about this game. Alright, on to the final stage. And so we're off to our final race in this thing. Basically, all you have to do is get through these certain amount of gates or checkpoints. Um better than the other people did, which is pretty simple, and it gives you time and whatnot whenever you pass a checkpoint, all the stuff that you would expect. Also, rolling start, because rolling starts exist in this game, and they're pretty cool. This game is just, I will not stop saying things about, oh, this is cool, or oh, this is cool. Like, there's just so many things to say that are cool. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do interior view on this race, too, because this is the race that it starts like raining halfway through because dynamic weather is cool yo it's kinda of funny you can actually see whenever it starts to uh... or when it's about to rain you can see like there's water that gets onto the windshield like you've wiped it off with the windshield wipers but the windshield wipers actually haven't went on yet it hasn't started raining yet and that's how you know it's about to rain at least they have the right windshield wipers the correct way on this I've seen games before where they got the windshield wipers on the wrong way, you know, so they would wipe the other way, like American cars, left-hand drive cars, generally, the, uh, they go from right to left, instead of left to right like these. Oh, God. Another fantastic thing about this game is the physics. The physics are similar to Project Gotham Racing 2, I guess really all of the PGR games. The physics are actually fantastic. They're easy to get used to for the most part. Hey, they can see the rain or the water. Hey, look, it's about the rain. Um, but like, it's fairly simple to keep the car under control if you'd like. And oh god, fast driving is definitely uh, rewarded in this game. Ah, uh, so that's a so ring. Yay! Hooray for dy dynamic weather. One down, well, one slight downside to this game, um, over the other PGR games at least, is that this game does not doesn't have as many unique and interesting cars as say PGR2 or even, oh, well, I don't know actually. I think really PGR2 has the best car list of any PGR game. I mean, it's not bad, but like, if it lacks all of the really really interesting stuff that you would see in PGR2, and I think there's. I don't know. There might not be less cars in general. I'm not sure. I know there's a lot of cars in PGR2. At least com even compared to... Oh, damn it. Burnout. Do a burnout. Alright, let's go back to the outside. Hey, the headlights are on. Sometimes the headlights come on, sometimes they don't. Oh, I won. Already? Now I just keep going until the time runs out. Which will probably be before the uh, next checkpoint. No, probably before... It'll probably be in between this checkpoint and the next one. Because I think the next one is pretty far away. Ah, oh, I barely made that one. Yeah, this one's pretty far away. I would laugh if I actually made this. Am I going to make it? Eh. Nope. Almost. Not quite. Oh well. I, I reached a goal. That's all I care about. Alrighty. Get our kudos real quick. Kudos breakdown. 
break it down. Oh, let's break it down. Suddenly, Overwatch references. And that was the final race of the series, so... Good news, I won. And I got kudos. You get the same amount of kudos as you got from this. Also, you get points. Um, this is the points I was talking about towards the beginning. On the leaderboard thingy, jigger. So, fish championship. Usually gives you a nice little uh, uh, thing to look at where your driver holds a trophy. I think. You've won the Asia Championship. That's what it is. Okay, maybe it doesn't hold a trophy. Or maybe it does, but for, I don't know. Um, but I'm already in 69th, 8th place. Wow, I'm, all, I'm almost in 69th place. Well, I'm technically am. Technically tied. So, Byung Hoon Lee. Hmm. Anyways, you have kudos. You can go to the P PGR shop and you can buy stuff. There are packs of cars and tracks that you can tracks you can use in uh, like quick modes like custom match and all that, and then cars you can use anywhere in the game because you have to unlock the cars, and also like race modes like bulldog race mode which I'm pretty sure is only multiplayer. Helmet pack, uh, more cars, 3D glasses cheap which I can't remember. I think it does like 3D photos or something. Um, racing tracks, sports coupes, street bikes, Honda, endurance tracks, long tracks. There's also one for short tracks, isn't there? I think there is. Mm, Ferrari, track specials, cars, Lamborghini, Suzuki, Ducati, Proof, Ultimate Ferrari. And you can buy the gamer picture, which I actually have equipped right now. As you can tell, right up there on the top, because I've played through this game many, many times. And you get an achievement for it that says, that the achievement says buy an achievement because you buy it with in-game kudos. So it's pretty fantastic. I'm not going to buy anything yet, but yeah, so that'll conclude this first episode of PGR4. And if you liked it, be sure to let me know in, you know, one of those ways that you know of to let me know if you like something. And for now, I am out of here. See ya.